Hilo Pals. I am Jordan 54. And welcome back to Jordan 54's Blind Pokemon Uranium Nuzlocke. As you know, my first ever Nuzlocke. In the last episode, we started our nice long trek through um, a route that was apparently described to be quite long and is living up to that potential as it's taken us quite a bit over an episode to reach as far as we've gotten, and I have a feeling that we've gotten quite a ways to go. In fact, if we check the map... Yeah, it's on the pod, isn't it? Map, here we go. Yeah, we're in West Hand... Oh, my goodness. <laughs> yeah, it, it looks like it's gonna be a while. Legend Town to the west. Beale Beach City to the north. I think that's where we're headed next. I, th I want to say we're headed to Beale Beach City next. And then there's, of course, Rochefail Tunnel. This is Rochefail Town. Makes sense. Uh, nuclear Plant Epsilon. And, oh, plant. Yeah, the purple means nuclear plant. Okay, interesting. As you can see, I haven't quite inspected the map perhaps as much as I could have and or should have. <laughs> uh, I'm also using two different... OBS windows to record the gameplay footage on one, audio on the other. So perhaps we'll have slightly better audio this time around. We'll 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 see. You'll actually be able to hear the music and me at the same time. Much better. There's only one way to find out though. And that's to continue playing. Perhaps I shouldn't look at the camera and do this very much, because my microphone <laughs> only points in one direction and uh, you know, it's not how sound waves work. Anyways, in this episode, we will continue the trek along this journey uh, and perhaps encounter some more trainers who get sucked into a battle with us unwillingly. <laughs> uh, so let's take a look at our team before we continue along this merry journey. Uh, Spangle is currently itemless, but I do not expect that to remain the way it is for too, too long. And, uh, oh, we're at a dead end. Okay. That explains why it looked like we were kind of like at a an interesting area. <laughs> uh, like in the map. Um, yeah, see, we're, we're kind of down here, so we need to get back on track, if you will. So let's let's do precisely that. Oh, we had a repel on. Oh! I must have had a repel on um, when I was on my way back to the center. Okay, well, we're not going to use another repel. Was I, was I, was, were my feet making motions while I was cycling through the menu? That was weird. Uh, did I, I think I already fought this guy. Yeah, okay. Making sure there are no hidden items. I don't think there are. I don't remember getting a dowsing machine, so, oh, hello! Ah, uh, okay, so, the area off west must be blocked. Yeah, Legend Town, Mount Actinid, Tandor Regional Championship. Restricted due to construction of the Tandor Championship site. They all say the same thing. I think they all say the same thing. But do they say the same thing if you talk to the... Okay. <laughs> Always gotta check. Always gotta check. Just like I am checking to make sure everything is continuing to record. That's always important. Don't mind if I do. There we go. <laughs> you never know. Oh, hello. Hello. We've entered an endless recursion of time is the first thing we hear from an NPC on this episode. You know what? That's going to be the name of the episode. Recursion of time. <laughs> endless recursion of time. <laughs> That's great. That person should be in Gen 4. Oh, this is not a favorable matchup in any way. Uh, let's do Sphere on Dittos. Because I am fearless. <laughs> <laughs> I believe the only move that would be super effective against me that deer will, that deer will have would be uh, probably mud slap. We have brick break. Let's use it. See ya. Ba bam, ba bam, ba bam, ba ba. Comite. Oh, we've encountered this thing in caves before. I can't remember what type it is. Whatever it is, I don't think uh, Le Leech Wipe is going to be good against it. Yeah, it's probably Rock-type. In which case, Metal Claw! Wide Guard's going to fail, because this ain't a double or a triple battle. Oh! Oh, Sturdy! That's right, okay. Yeah, we failed to catch one of these things. It was unfortunate. 
It's okay though. It's all right. <laughs> na, 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 na. <laughs> and of course she says it again. <laughs> Alright, let me explain why this is freaking me out right now. So, right now, um, I've been assigned arguably the most difficult homework assignment in my entire school. It is a programming assignment for data structures that is entirely based off of recursion. Homework 6 is the name it goes by. Entirely based off of recursion. Wow, okay, wow. Um, you know what? <laughs> I'm actually gonna snipping tool this. So now that we've established that the game is sentient, let's continue. What are you gonna say? Huh? Two million kilts to be delivered to the indro- What is this route? <laughs> the first trainer we encounter attains sentience and tells us to do our recursion homework. The second trainer says, I need to deliver kilts to the Andromeda Galaxy. This is already one hell of an episode. And he's got the same Pokemon, what the hell? <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know what's happening right now. This, is, this game is going to distract me with weird stuff happening to the point where I actually lose a team member. That's what's actually going to happen. Wow! <laughs> Living! Um, can we KO the Rock Smash? Probably can. KO! There we go. They're trying to win Wimbledon. Is that the name of a Pokemon? Of course it's not from aliens, why would you say that? How am I gonna deliver it? It's like two million it is like two million light years away. <laughs> but it's on a collision course with us. All you have to do is attain immortality. This person's already attained ridiculous sentience. Self-awareness. Oh, we're going into a cave. We're going into a cave. We're going into a cave! We can encounter Yellow? What's up, Goldcorn? My Pokemon? Uh, they're doing well. Um, they're doing well. Uh, let me just keep your Tankoon in top shape by going to Pokemon Center. Smart, smart, of course, always. You missed catching Spony again. Please don't mention my homework. Maybe you're not very good at this. It's all right, dude. Okay. Close call there. Spangle has an item. Let's 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 duck into this cave before things get crazy. Oh, an escape rope. Thank you, Spangle. You're learning too, it seems. Rochville Tunnel. Oh, this is this is a Meteor Falls remix. Bum 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 bum. Oh, this is pretty good. I don't know why it starts from the middle though. Uh, what are we gonna encounter? Ah, we've already we've already caught that, so that won't count. Uh, it's gonna resist everything. So. 
Might as well. Give it to Spheron. Might know Mud Slap, but that's not going to do much, especially at the level that it's at. We're going to be faster than it, most likely, so we won't have to worry about head headbutts flinching. Will Rock Smash one-hit KO? It will! Nice, we won't have to waste Brick Break PP. Alright. Please tell me that's not the only thing you can encounter. Please tell me this isn't the only thing you can encounter. I probably shouldn't have Leech Wife out in front. I'm going to be very disappointed if this is the only thing you can encounter here. <laughs> Barul is a very good Pokemon, but I already caught one, and it's already evolved, and that has Sturdy. What the hell just happened? I was trying to use arrows to see what my ability is, and yeah, it's Rockhead. I don't have Sturdy, and you do. I was trying to see what my ability was, and the game locked on me for a second there. I got very, I got very concerned. My accuracy is going to drop into oblivion, isn't it? Yes! <laughs> that could have gotten out of hand. Easily. Easily. Alright. Well then, Spheron, you can uh, go up in front. Spangle, you have an item. Super Potion. Very nice. Can you encounter other stuff, please? Sea Bly! Woo! That's pretty good! Now what should we use to attack this thing? I don't want Metal Claw, I want a KO. Fairy's the only type that's super effective, um, but obviously we don't want to use that. Uh, Turf Base, I think, has a weak move, but it's got high stats, so <laughs> that kind of negates it. Uh, it's Bubbles special, right? Yeah. Okay. God, look at that thing's animation. I know it resists poison. It takes neutral damage from Ghost. Uh, so I want to hit it with something weak. Maybe an Aerial Ice from Leech Wife would be our best bet here. Especially given we're going to resist any Dark-type moves that it throws out. I'm probably paranoid about nothing, but it's always good to be on the safe side, especially on a Nuzlocke. Where this is my one shot at catching anything on this. Plus we have Sleep Powder. Yes! Hitting its target. Almost ran away. Uh, hit him with that Aerial Ace. Always scared of a crit. You already woke up, didn't you? Shadow Sneak is a priority move. One more Aerial Ace will do the tr- oh, okay. And you've got Detect. Shadow Sneak and Detect. Pretty good moves. Hopefully we can- you know what? Let's throw a ball right now. Why wait, right? Uh, you know what? A Dusk Ball would be perfect for this thing. Let's do it. Come on! A one. A two. A three. Let's go! Now we need a nickname. Does it think my V key is stuck? Oh, okay. <laughs> you know what? We have to name this thing something related to recursion now. We, we don't really have a choice. Recursion. <laughs> yes, that is that is the nickname I want. Recursion. Straight to Twitch's PC. 
All right, let's get out of here. Another Barul Sphere on, you can take this one. Don't even waste any time. Get Hit him with that, uh, oh wait, never mind. Probably has Sturdy anyway. No point in using Brick Break, yeah, see? And its defense fell. Wow, that's gonna, that's going to make quite the impact on our next move. Then I will meet you back. Ah, uh, wait, hold on. Spangle has an item. Ah, oh, Repel. Nice. We're about to use that to head right back to the Pokemon Center. And I will meet you back here once we're fully healed. We'll also take a deeper look at that save line once we're at the center. Let's-a go. Alright. Recursion. Let's take a look at you. So I saw that it has the Keen Eye ability. A serious nature, okay. Uh, Fury swipes, detect, shadow sneak, faint attack. It's always strange when you see moves that aren't multiples of five when it comes to their power. I don't think any move has accuracy that's not a multiple of five. Pretty good moves. It has a move that always goes first and a move that always hits its target. And it has a protection move. Um, on the off chance that... We run into something uh, on the off chance that uh, we lose a team member. Recursion is probably has probably just jumped to the top of that list, and <laughs> Reflectune has just been pushed back one. And into the cave we go. My repel is still somewhat active, but uh, it'll it'll go away pretty soon. There it is. We're not using another one. <laughs> hey, I'm digging here. Get your own cave. I'm only here to pass through. I already did my business here. I caught a Pokemon. Ah, I see. The Ghost of Swarmswood passed. Who's super effective against Spheron. Four times. Let's switch out. <laughs> Leech Wife, you can take this one for real. We resist those! That would have done a lot of damage, so... Good on us for switching out. Silver Window. Is that gonna... Would that have KO'd? No, okay. Hit him with a fairy wind. Oh! Oh! Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's real not good. Sphere on dittos! Dirul dittos, I should say. There can be only one Sphere on. said Spheron is mine. <laughs> Didn't have to worry about Sturdy there. Already broke it with Leech Wife. Tactical genius. And you bet we're switching our Pokemon to get to that Grozer. All you got left? Well, that's unfortunate, isn't it? Okay, well, you know... <laughs> Now, now you're going to endure a hit. Well, you're going to have to endure another, and I don't think it's going to work for you. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's got another! Modril. Have I seen this before? <laughs> yes, I have. Uh, pretty sure this is also a ground type. Sleep powder it. Oh, God. That is super effective. Okay, he's going to be asleep probably for at least a turn. The sound of super effective move makes always scares me. Oh, Fairy Wind is super effective. Wow, and a crit! Gotta play it safe. Always play it safe. Um, you're gonna read the steel, so let's switch to you. You're probably gonna... Yep, I, I had a feeling it was gonna wake up and use Meta Claw. The hardest reads! Uh, it's probably rock or steel, so spark him. And it's ground... Oh, it's ground type. <laughs> <coughs> 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 
switch. Turf base, take him. Oh god, pursuit. Oh god, that did a lot of damage. This man's got the reeds on- We both got the reeds on deck. Fake him out. Yes! <laughs> that was scary. What type is that thing? Steel ground? <sighs> My goodness, dude. Um. Okay. And we got a repel. Um. I should probably use some potions. Oh, this is the wrong the wrong pocket. There we go. Uh, we have six hyper potions and four super potions. Uh, okay, yeah. I had to do it to him. Alright. At least the wild Pokemon here don't seem too threatening. Good old Sableye. Well, Burk Break's not going to do anything, so let's not a paw. It's level 20, too. Maybe we're, maybe we're not as far ahead as I initially thought. Probably gonna have to grind a bit more. Uh, especially if there's a gym coming up after this cave, which there probably is. I believe they've been alluding to that. Um, okay. Yeah. What are you gonna do? Use moves I resist, or use moves that I negate? Ah, one of each. Spangle has another item. The Spangle stash is growing by the day. We got another super potion. Always good to have those. Uh, I do not know how big this cave is. You probably want to battle me. Yes. Small fry. A battle of wits? How about a battle of Pokemon? I'm down for either. But wouldn't you know it? A Pokemon battle is both! Alright, so this is ground and flying. I hope it doesn't have arena trap. Okay. You never know with these weird ground type Pokemon that are like different. I'm not very familiar with Gligar. I don't even know if it, that's an ability that it possibly could have. I'll put up a title card to confirm that. But, uh, it seems like the type of Pokemon that would be able to have Arena Trap. Um, and especially after the whole situation with Terralard, uh, I, I don't like to take chances. Let's go, Turf Base, with that critical hit! So, that's probably going to level up. Um, this thing does a lot of bad things to my team. Um, because these three... Uh, these four are bad against ground. And these two are bad against flying. I don't like this at all. The good news is turf base does seem to probably be a bit tanky. So, uh, hopefully we won't have to worry about too many flying type moves. Uh, we can fake him out once again. The joy of switching. Uh, and hopefully we can... Well, let's Giga Drain to gain back a little bit of health. Always got to be on the safe side. Does a nice amount of damage. In more ways than one. And the bubble will finish him off. Let's try to encounter as few ground flying types as, as possible. Struggle Bug! Didn't I have that move already? <laughs> I feel like I had that move already at some point. I got rid of it for Silverwind. Nah, man. Yes, stop learning it. Uh, Dunsparce. Okay. This thing's move set's always a wild card, but I'm pretty sure it can learn Rollout, so we're not putting Leech Wife in. Let's put in Sphere on. It has Brick Break. Might be faster, though. No, okay. Did about half. 
the yawn coming in, but we should be able to KO it. And we're good. Everything's under control. Excellent. Nice job. Uh, and we are now heading deeper into the cave. <laughs> what was that? Hold on. <laughs> the music. Uh, who's up front right now? Not Spangle, but Spangle has an item. Ultra Ball! Ooh, I love getting those. Uh, turf base, yeah. Unless we encounter a poison type, turf base is probably our best bet. Training in extreme locations make you tougher. That is... It's... It's true. Uh, but it's also true that that is a risky operation in Nuzlocke mode. Uh, you're... Well, let's test it. Will Fake Out actually deal damage against something that will guarantee a first strike on the first turn? Oh, uh, well, it's gonna endure, so... Oh, okay, still doing damage, still doing damage. Uh, so this is... Is it Electric Ground? I think it's Electric Ground. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Recover all that health back, baby. And that was enough to level! Damn, okay. Minyan coming in. I completely forget what this thing is. Oh, jeez, okay. Um, uh... I don't remember what it is. Please don't be ground type. If I had to guess it would be either dark or fighting. Oh, okay, it's the it's the bat Pokemon. <laughs> Which means we made a good choice, because this is about to be super effective. On the off chance that we don't flinch. Aha, you fool! Would you like to continue with that endeavor? I don't think you can. Because I'm faster now. Oh yeah! Still got another, another one. Bashan. This thing is like... Is it dark fighting? I think it's dark fighting. I think it's dark fighting. So we're going to hope it doesn't know poison jab. And hit him with that fairy wind. Destruction! Why worry about poison jab when you can only you only have to worry about attacking first? Uh, let's see. Heading this way, I see a hiker over there. Bear rule. After the battle, I'll check to make sure my team is all in check and looking good. Fake out there. Actually, probably was necessary uh, in the event that it has the sturdy ability. So, <laughs> that's the true meta right there. Uh, let's just make sure our team is looking good. Spangle has yet another item. A repel. Uh, let me see. I mean, Spangle keeps picking up potions, so... <laughs> I feel a little less guilty using all of them. Uh, probably should put someone else up front. Just for the experience. I want I want to put Kerbat up front, but its moveset isn't quite qualifying itself for much of that. Um, so we're just going to hope that we don't encounter Arena Trappers. Because that would really suck. Ooh. Let's hope this is not an Arena Trapper. Because <laughs> I want to switch. Hype. Oh, okay. No Arena Trap. <laughs> Confirmed. Instead, it's a Pokemon that uh, negates our Intimidate ability, which I will certainly take as a fair trade. Let's see if Leech White can take him. It's level 17, so. Level 17. The wild Pokemon here are 20! What's going on? 
Does this, guy, does this guy just have like six level 17 Gligar or something? I don't understand. That quick attack's gonna get annoying. Can we put him to sleep? Yes! Alright. Anyways, let's continue. Man, nobody stays asleep in this game. It's very strange. And that's why I'm not using Aerial Ace. The Harden right there. Guess I shouldn't be surprised at how fast it is, especially when compared to a couple fly. So yeah, it's level 22, so at this point I imagine couple fly is the final evolution. I believe I saw Deer Rule coming in. I didn't see what Pokemon it was. Uh <laughs> Omer, get him. <laughs> yep, it's a bear rule. Good thing we got Brick Break! Ah, the sturdy coming in! Clutch! Oh, with the rock polish. And I don't have a priority move, so, uh, yeah, you can headbutt me and I will flinch! <laughs> Where is inner focus when you need it, huh? Another Gligar coming in. Uh, you know, Spearon probably would be able to do some decent work here um, without too much of a worry. Hopefully. Yeah, it's just gonna harden. Which is going to make Metal Claw process annoying, actually, so... Yeah, let's just... Uh, let's just switch to Leech Wife. Can we get another Sleep Powder off? It's my mess. Okay. It's going to miss when we really need it to not miss, of course. As it always does. Hit him with that Fairy Wind. Hit him with a Fairy Wind. Oh, nice damage. One more. Hey, finally asleep for a significant amount of turns. I know the odds of that seem surprisingly low. Uh, okay, now I am comfortable doing Deer Rule Dittos. Because mine has a weapon that most don't. A strong fighting type move. Of course, many other duo have a strong weapon that I don't, and that's the sturdy ability. But there's not much I can do about that. Good show, Sonny! Well, I try. <laughs> Anyways, moving along, we got another wild battle. You can encounter Gligar here. The level range here is ridiculous. I encountered like a level 20. Pokemon here, a level 14, or maybe the level 20 encounter was from a trainer, who knows. Uh, okay. Well, anyways, return him. Return value. That did nothing. <laughs> uh, well, we can poison gas him. That might miss now. Oh, no, it won't. Okay, good, good, good. Let's go, Kerbat. Hit him with that poison fang. Mmm. Hurt by that poison. And one more return value for the fans. If it doesn't miss, it didn't miss. And the poison finishes him off. Getting strong experience from these battles. And I need every last point. Hey, this is a remix of Route 111 <laughs> from uh, the Hoenn region. Oh, this is a good remix. I, lo I love the... Is that a glockenspiel? I think that's a glockenspiel. Very nice. Are you a battle? No, okay. Oh! This route is sprawling with sand! No wonder it's using the... the theme. 
I get jumped in the sand just like tall grass. And you're gonna give me a repel, of course. Thank you very, very much. Wait! Is this a new route? We could we could run into another new Pokemon here. This is a new route! Tandor Sheets! Wait. All of this is Pokemon territory, or is it just tall sand? All of it. Oh, Grozer, we already encountered you. We already encountered you, and the the the, the Grozer that I added to my team died in a tragic arena trap accident. So unfortunately, I will I will have to do a no on this one. Okay. Every patch of sand here has the potential to be an encounter. Oh! Hello! Alright then, I guess this is going to be the catch of the route! Kokor- I have no idea how to pronounce that. Kokoran? Let's, let's go with Kokoran. Kokoran, that sounds good. Isn't there a game called Kokoran? I feel like there's a game called Kokoron. And one of the themes from it used to be a theme in one of the older versions of Eversion, which I've played on my channel. Uh, go watch that playthrough, it's pretty fun. So it's grass ground, if I remember correctly. Therefore, Poison Fang's gonna do neutral damage. Yep, and we got the bad poison, so... <laughs> Let's start throwing the great balls! All the ones that we've gotten from pickup. A one. That's a who. A three. And we got a catch. Ba -da 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 -da. Done. Ah uh, yes, yes, yes. Welcome, Kokoron. The coconut Pokemon, and it is grass and ground. Shells are very buoyant, so they float in water. It's almost indistinguishable from a coconut. Uh, it looks like a coconut crab. Interesting. Uh, I'm conflicted in either naming this something related to Eversion or something related to Crab Rave by Noise Storm. Got it. Evert Storm. Perfect! And it fits just within the character limit of the nickname. <laughs> okay, oh, is this a rest stop? <gasps> Thank the Lord. Thank Arceus for this one. Oh boy, you have no idea how happy I am that there is a rest stop here. What console is this? That looks like... It looks like an Alexa. Okay. Cool. And there's a PC here. Dope. You know what? Yeah! Let's let's take a look at uh, Kokoron. Nope. Move. There we go. Oh, and it has the sand availability. What moves does it have, though? Withdraw, sand attack, absorb, water gun. Okay. Grass ground. Um... I already have a lot of that spread covered, but I'll keep it in mind. Always good to have something like that. Always good to have plans B through ZZZ. <laughs> uh, and we are going to encounter lots more Pokemon. The encounter rate doesn't seem very high, though, so that's good. Spangle with another item. <gasps> what?! Excuse me? No, you're messing with me, right? I just got a King's Rock from Pickup! Holy... What? <laughs> That's one of the best hold items you can give to a Pokemon. And I just got it from Pickup! Up. 
Holy shit! That's nuts! <laughs> I know pickup gets better as it levels up. I didn't know it got that good that quickly. I know at some point you can pick up TMs from it. I think that's faded out ever since, um, you know, TMs have become reusable. You only need one of each. But, um... Wow! <laughs> I gotta... What's the chance of that happening? Let me look up the ability on Bulbapedia. I'm not sure which gen this which this emulates when it comes to the, the ability, but... I don't care what gen that is. There's no way that's a high... Remotely a high percentage <laughs> in any gen that even has that possibility. Wow. Um, so what is the what's the icon look like again? It looks like a crown, right? Pretty sure it looks like a crown. Literally all of the gens that this came out after have King's Rock at a one percent find rate, and we just got one. What a streak of luck. I am I am saving right now. Uh-huh. <laughs> That's godlike. Hello. Um you see there's this game called Mario and Luigi Partners in Time. Uh you would fit in right right you would fit right in with a couple of Hammer Brothers. You know that, right? Uh I still don't know what type this thing is. I would guess it's pure dragon, but uh, don't know for sure. Uh, I guess we can find out by using Poison Fang. Okay, yeah. See, it was dragon poison would resist it. Uh, how much damage is returning? Return gonna do in comparison to Poison Fang? Oh wow, it does more damage, substantially more damage than Poison Fang, even with Poison Fang stab. We must have pretty high happiness, then. Lick him! Don't flinch. Okay. Let's go, Kerbat! Falloonge! Coming out. Uh, get him over! Dropping my attack. That's going to make a difference. Low kick. Static, you fool! That didn't do a thing. But uh oh well. We're, we're faster now, so that's that's what's important. Another low kick. I'll take low kick over karate chop. Karate chop with a high crit ratio versus low kick, which does more damage to heavier opponents. Axe! What's he gonna say now? You're not so bad. I could use a training partner like you. Let's trade him. <laughs> You're right. You definitely, you definitely could use someone who uh, you you think is hacking. Smart, smart, smart move, guy. Smart move, dude. Uh, what you think? You think I'm gonna gen you up some Pokemon and Pokegen or something? I ain't no hacker. That goes against my gaming code of conduct. Unless I'm messing around with the game, in which case, <laughs> go for it, dude. Uh, what are you gonna say? Uh, you are a trainer. The beach is pretty nice, isn't it? It's very scenic, plus it has all sorts of interesting Pokemon. Let's fight! Well, at least you told me let's battle. Otherwise, it would have been kind of awkward when, uh, the transition came in as we were, you know, having this nice, polite conversation about the wonderful desert and the workings of life and biology and the ecosystem with Pokemon. Uh, this thing is water rock, so that's highly unfortunate. Uh, we can still poison it, though. Yes. Ancient power. Gonna do neutral damage. And, uh, it is going to resist both return and... Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty, then. It, it's gonna resist Poison Fang and Lick. But Poison Fang might still do a good amount of damage. It has the chance of bad poison! 
Corsola is trying to raise all of its stats. It is not working out. Uh, return. Oh, bad poison's not gonna do enough. Not that it would've, because it refreshed again. Uh, return. Ugh, wasn't enough. Oh, that hurt a little. And by a little, I mean a lot. Uh, let me see. Get him over. I don't, I don't even know why I wasted my time there. All of Omer's attacking moves are super effective. But I think we're best with a uh, special electric move. In fact, let's charge things up a bit. Get him! Oh yeah! I'm not sure if the charge was necessary. If I had to guess, it probably was. Uh, yeah. Uh, you know what? Bashan is probably weak to fighting, so... Brick Break him! Okay. Ooh, beat up. Ow. <laughs> it's alright. It's always interesting when a Pokemon has the move beat up. I think, um, Wishy Washy can learn that. I'm not sure what other Pokemon can. I imagine it's a slew of Dark types. Uh, oh! Flaffy Dittos? Let's go! Let's go, Flaffy Dittos! Who's better? Probably mine, because I have a move that, uh... <laughs> you're not gonna resist. You can't possibly resist this move. It's irres- oh, it's not irresistible. But irresistible by other Flaffy, that is for sure. Ah! Takedown. You almost killed yourself. You have a move just like that too, but it does recoil. Speaking of recoil, I would appreciate getting takedown or double edge on my Deeru, because I have the rockhead ability, and I'd like to make use of it, especially given that I think Sturdy is a much better ability, and I would much prefer having that. What item are you gonna give me now, Spangle? Or a Pell, okay. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure how I feel about getting King's Rocks all the time now. Hello. <laughs> oh! The fact that he gives you a yes or no option makes me... It leads me to believe that I should at the very least leave him to be the last trainer that I battle on this route. They don't give you that option and then it's just a regular battle. Oh no, no. That does not happen. That is not a thing that happens. Oh, uh, that is... Is that a fisherman? It is. Uh, let's see. Oh, the game is lagging a bit. Uh, I don't really have much of anything else open on this computer, though, other than OBS, so... I don't know what's going on. It's probably just... This computer's run its course. Uh... Dude, you just blocked the way. I hope there's not anything important up there. <laughs> like hidden items or something. I can probably reset your position by going inside and outside of the rest house, but I don't want to have to do that. Okay, let me see. This probably isn't going to do anything. Oh, I should have switched out when I had the chance. Here we go again. This happened last episode, too. Okay. Speed fell, attack rose, defense rose. I don't think it can recover health, so... Yes, we got the bad poison, okay. It's still using curse. We're definitely going to attack first next turn. This should kill. Oh, because it was raising its defense too! Jesus Christ! Ah! Living! <laughs> Can I switch out or am I still stuck in Sand Tomb? I think I'm freed from Sand Tomb when it gets KO'd. Um. Braylip. This thing is so weird. I still can't get over it. 
All right, Mr. King's Rock Finder. Let's see how you do against this monstrosity. <laughs> God. I mean, it's a creative design, but... My God. They must have been on some bomb mushrooms when they came up with this one. Folrog. I feel like that's an evolved form of a Pokemon we've seen other. Oh, is it the evolved form of Fortog? Yeah, oh. That looks strong. Ooh. Oh, okay, I was expecting that to do a lot more. <laughs> okay. Cool looking Pokemon, though. Gave, gave a lot of experience, too. <laughs> the ones you have are nice, too. That man is definitely blocking that path, but I, I can reach it here anyway. <laughs> There's an item. A Max Repel. I feel like the game is trying to tell me that I should be using those. Hello. Alrighty then. <laughs> well, just keep in mind that if you're... Okay, well, you know... We're at low health. Otherwise, I'd be totally fine with this situation. I would be totally fine with this situation if I was at full health. I'm not at full health. Uh, plus, this might know, like, some random-ass ground-type move, like Bulldoze or something. So... Uh, Leech Wife is a much better option here, anyway. Focusing of the energy. Ferrying of the wind! Ugh. Bass Chaff. Is that the evolve form? Ah, yes, I've seen. I think I've seen this before. Stomp! No flinch! And that didn't one hit KO. Another Stomp! Glad I'm not using Minimize. Is that enough to level? Ugh, not quite. <laughs> but I'm a black bell. How did I lose? Uh, well, you lost because I had a fairy type. Got your belt in two years flat. <laughs> that is pretty impressive. Not like that other loser. Why do I keep losing? Why is loser in all caps? Is that a trainer class? Loser, the evolved form of the gambler training class. <laughs> Oof. I should go back to the rest stop and heal. I'm going to use a repel because I'm a scrub. Uh, and we will be right back in the next episode. Because this has been going on for quite some time and I don't think my camera battery is going to last for much longer. So, we went through a cave. We, in we caught a save lie. We went. Th we started going through the sand. We caught a Kokoron, and we had some interesting times with endless recursions of time. And I think I should do my homework. Yeah. So, with all of that said, keep looking forward, and I will see you next time. Bye bye.